How are you? No, I didn't mean to point the mic away from me. <laughs> How are you? I hope things have been alright. I hope you've been good. This is sometimes something that's on my mind. It's something I struggled with for a very long time. And I'm not talking a little amount of time. Like, two, three plus years, I was quite lonely. And there are two main big reasons why. Male companionship and the dating world. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. I want to talk about male companionship first. Oh, I know that, like, a percentage, like, m most of my audience are guys, but, like, it is, like, there are, there are, I do have women who watch this as well. It's, like, 20% or, like, something like that. So, sorry, I know this doesn't really relate to you, but it's just because this is something I've really suffered with myself. So it's something I can actually make a comment on. The car has just slowed down to watch me really, really creepily. Oh yeah, it's normal that there's a random Asian sat on a tree talking to a camera. This is normal. Male companionship. It is hard to find good friends. It is really, really hard. I found my first friendship group in like year seven and I've, I'm, I'm finished, I'm past uni. Uh, not past uni, I'm past college now. So I would be in uni if I went. And I was friends with that group for so, so long. But then, you know, we, we kind of split apart and that's normal, that happens. And then I was alone for basically, what was it, like three years? So basically my whole time in college. I was with them, but I wasn't really with them. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But then I went on to self-improvement for about a, a year. And I, for a year of it, I was alone. And then my second year, I started to meet new people. But I was alone for a really long time, and it was mainly because I was focused on myself, but also it was hard. It was hard to find good friends. The friends that I looked up to basically split apart, and I wasn't part of that group anymore. The people that I did meet just kind of wanted to go out, drink, party, and obviously I don't in enjoy that anymore. I, I mean, I'm, I'm focused on the, the other aspects of life like nature and uh, the real life part of life. So finding good friends was really, really hard. Friends that actually like put your well-being first and that it, literally just finding a person who's like that, that is hard. It is not easy to nowadays. Oh look, the sun's starting to come out now. I can tell because it's blinding my eyes. It is hard too. And the thing is like compared to three years ago, which is when I first heard about self-improvement, didn't go on it. Uh, it wasn't until two years ago, coming up to two years now, that I first went on to self-improvement. But compared to then, there are a lot of people who are on it now. But there are still a lot of people who aren't. You know, I mentioned it to a person that I met at the skate park uh, about what I do. Uh, and uh, they were just curious why I was recording at the skate park. And I was like, oh, well, I'm focused on self-improvement. It's something that I'm really passionate about and that I'm trying to help others as well. And he was very confused. He was like, what is self-improvement or self-development? I've never heard of that before. I asked him, I was like, do you know what mental health is? And he was like, nah. <laughs> so I was a bit concerned for him. But it's not a thing. A lot of people are on it, yes, but a lot of people still aren't. So being on self-improvement, it can be quite a lonely journey. And as a guy, I do seek out that male companionship, that brotherhood, almost like a tribe. You know, some of my fo oh, chair's about to break. Some of my fondest memories are with my old friendship group in the woods, just building a den. I loved, I genuinely missed like the good old days. Mm. I should do another video back there. It's just a bit of a mess right now, so because <laughs> we obviously no one's been there for a really long time. And I do remember, even though I was really focused on myself, I did really want and seek out for that male companionship. And I want to tell you basically, what's it called? What's the word? I want to tell, ba basically, I want to tell you, I want to, I want you to envision this, right? Where you're walking down a path. Now this path is self-improvement. Maybe you're one of the few who actually watched this, who was actually on self-improvement. So you're one of the few, right? And you're walking down this path and for a while, it's just you. It's kind of lonely. You're just walking down this path by yourself. After a while, who knows how long, maybe a couple hours, a couple days, a couple months, maybe even a year, but you then meet someone else who's walking on this path the same direction as you. You're both walking the same direction on the same path. Now you catch up to them, you see them, and it's your choice. You can either talk to them, make friends, 
or you can walk past. Either way, at some point on this journey, on this path you're walking, you will meet someone else. Now, it's your choice whether you basically talk to them and make friends with them or not and walk together with them. But to be honest, when you see just you and one other person walking down the same path, it's more awkward not to talk to them, trying to overtake them, and you just kind of don't say anything and it's silent, you're walking together next to each other silently. It's more awkward, it's actually more comfortable to talk to them. And that's what it will be like for you. When you do meet that person on the same path you're on right now, it will be a lot easier to make friends with them. Because they will be a good friend. They will take care of your actual well-being, and you're both pursuing the same dreams, the same goals. Well, maybe not the same dreams, the same goals, but you're on the same path, walking the same direction. Now, I don't know how long it will be for you. Maybe it will be a couple days, a couple hours, a couple months, maybe even a year, like it was for me. But you will meet someone. It just depends on when. So try not to think about it too much. Just stay focused on yourself, on your own path, and eventually you'll meet someone else. And the second one I want to talk about is the dating world. I was born in Thailand. Yes, I was born there, lived there for about two years before I basically moved to England and lived here my whole life. But being in an Eastern country, the Eastern world, the dating world is quite lonely. I went through a phase of basically going on like the Tinder, Hinge, stuff like that. And the thing is, like, the people who are actually successful on Tinder, actually meeting people, they're not meeting for the long-term relationships. Like, 90% of people put in their bio, short-term relationship. And they're mainly using it for hookups, one-night stands. And that is what we have. We have a hookup sort of culture. And I'm not saying that this is bad, but I am saying that this is actually more lonely. The dating world is quite lonely. And if for a guy who obviously wants male companionship, but also maybe you're going through a phase right now where you want that relationship and you don't know where to get it. So you'd maybe try going on Tinder and then you realize that the dating world is kind of sucky. <laughs> it's not often that you see someone who's like on Tinder or like on Hinge for like literally to meet their f like husband or like wife. It's not often you have that. When people hear about my ideals that I'm focused on myself, and if I do meet someone, I want that person to be in my life for a long time. People hear that like, nah, I just want to hook up, man. What the fuck? <laughs> it is very weird. My kind of fun, my kind of ideals are viewed as weird. You know, I'm someone who doesn't vape. I'm someone who doesn't drink. I'm someone who doesn't do drugs, who focuses on my mental health, my physical health, my financial health. That's just viewed as weird. But if the normal is going out drinking and neglecting all those things and indulging in this instant gratification and hookup culture, I don't want to be normal. The dating world is quite lonely and that just, it, some people don't realize that and it can be quite daunting. And the thing is, when I went out to Thailand last year, I stayed there for a couple months, there is a fuck ton of flies here. Some horses just walked by, so they might be horse flies. Oof. <laughs> but when I was in Thailand, when I met women, actual women, not Thai lady boys. I know some of you are thinking that. Get your mind out the gutter, what the fuck? <laughs> when I met, when I met some lovely, lovely people, they were so innocent, like almost pure. It feels really weird saying this, but they were so innocent. Like when I met people, they didn't want to go out drinking the whole time. I was like, oh, can we go out for like dinner? Or like, can we go out to just a restaurant or just walk by the beach? And I was like, the fuck? And people were like mean and they were like, oh, this is super, super nice. And they weren't kind of aiming to hook up on the first night. And it was weird being in that sort of culture, but it was really nice and kind of refreshing. I'm not saying that you can't get that in Eastern, in the Eastern world. I'm not saying you can't get that in Eastern countries, in the UK, maybe you're in the UK or the United States. You, I'm not saying you can't get that here. Literally, like, was it the other day, like uh, a lovely, lovely lady came into the coffee shop where I work, sat down, wasn't on her phone, was reading. We actually ended up talking. We got on, we got along really, really well. And uh, it was super, super nice. So it, I'm not saying it's not impossible, but, you know, if you're going on, like, Tinder and, like, Hinge, where a lot of people on there are there to hook up, not everyone, but a lot of people are, it's harder, and it can make you feel a lot more lonely. To be honest, the people that I've met, that I've actually dated, and, like, for, like, a longer term, not, like, like, short term, it's been from people that I've met in real life, from coffee shops, from 
fucking in a restaurant or like it's just from people that I've actually met in real life and it's not been from Tinder or Hinge. I'm not saying that that's not impossible. It's just that the majority of people, myself included at one point, went on Tinder for hookups and that was pretty much it. I think these are two like big reasons. There are a lot of reasons, man. Um, because it's not just men. A lot of people are lonely. What is it? I think 80% of people are alone. And that's quite a big number. I can't remember when I researched this. I think it was like a couple days ago. So I might be wrong. So don't quote me on that. But I know it is a high number of the, the of percentage of people feel lonely in the UK. It's quite messed up. And I think these are two big things. Like male companionship. It's hard to find good friends. And the dating world in Eastern countries in the UK is kind of messed up. I think the best thing that you can do right now is what I said about you being on your own path and you will meet others because that applies to both both scenarios and that applies to everyone or to anyone who's walking that path if they're on self-improvement and by the way this applies to the degenerate average if you're going down this path of not caring about your mental health physical health you're basically drinking a lot going out partying a lot you will meet other people like that as well whatever path you choose you will meet other people on that path I've been trying to make longer videos, so if you did enjoy this, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I hope this has helped you out. And if you did like this video, clicking on the one in the corner would be a massive help because this could definitely help you out as well. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because you, there's a chance you will never find this channel again. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Yep. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah. Oh, God, my ass has gone numb. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, maybe sitting on a tree wasn't a good idea.